Note to self, don't leave water boiling and then get ready for a video because then you'll forget that the water is boiling. So, yeah, lesson I learned today. But hello, this is Chelsea. And my last video, I did like my top 10 favorite bands. And so this episode, I'm going to do favorite TV shows that are on the air right now. All time favorite TV show, The Office. I love that show. It's like so funny. Dry humor is what gets me. It, it really hits me right here. But I do have to say that ever since Michael left, this show hasn't been as funny. Like, there's been like funny parts, but just his sarcasm. Like, not really sarcasm, but like just how he perceived his character. He played his character well. And then actually in a recent episode, they had someone that, like, worked in Philadelphia, and Pam, it was, like, a real estate place that, like, tried to play Michael's character, but it was, it was supposed to be another character, but, like, he had the same characteristics as Michael, but he just didn't play as well. really hope he ends up on this last season, and it's really sad that it's the last season, because I've been addicted to this show. Like, I literally probably watched each episode at least five or six times, and it's so sad that I waste my life doing these things, because I can do so many more things. Um, so yeah, The Office, number one. Number two, Who's That Girl? It's just, um, New Girl. I love that show! Um, basically it's about this girl moves in with three guy roommates and they have a party! Um, they have a party in a couple episodes, but they don't really party that much. But she's like this fun, little witty little girl. Well, she's not really little, she's kind of like... 30 something probably but so new girl and then I am in love with Nick who is played by Jake Johnson and I felt so jealous when she got to kiss those precious lips of his and it was pretty nice especially when he's like I meant something like that that's uh, it's giving me goosebumps right now you guys can't see it but I have goosebumps right now because I remember that scene and that show is so good oh and by the way Camera quality is going to be better because I actually purchased a tripod through Amazon so I can start taking videos of my Okay, so number three. Number three is a show that's so suspenseful that I can't even watch it by myself. I have to go to my best friend's Kenneth's house to watch it so I don't get scared. And it is Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars is so good! It's actually based off of a book series, and I started reading the book after the series came out, but then I stopped because, I don't know, I really like reading, and I just sort of lost, I don't know, I'll just blame school. It was cool. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Pretty Little Liars, A is everywhere, everywhere. Like, you think that she, like, take breaks sometimes, but she knows everything that goes on with these girls. Like, it's probably because it's more than one person. And then in the last episode, Toby dies. Well, Toby dies, but I really don't think he died because I like Toby, and he was really buff. He had a nice bod. And it really upset Spencer that they broke up, which was really sad. And it's actually out today because it's Sunday. It's so new girl. Okay, um, How I Met Your Mother is so good, and I've been following it probably for the past, like, two years, but I've tried to catch up, and I actually will be right back, because I have to check spaghetti. Alrighty, I'm back with spaghetti. Um, for me, it took a lot longer to be back than you, because I'm just going to edit out all the stuff in the middle of time that it took. Mm. And before I get back to... Oops. Before we get back to um the TV shows, I just want to say that it is very, very difficult to live without a kitchen sink. We have the water off because something's leaking, I think, in the sink. And I just went in my bathroom like three or four times in a row. I was stupid and like grabbed one thing at a time to go back and clean it. And I didn't bring them all at the same time, which I don't know why. Just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, no, I feel like I compared to those, like, starving kids. Like, no sink, no dishes, no food. Unless you go to your bathroom and wash them. Okay, but, how I met your mother. 
is an amazing show. It started, I think it's been on, it's been on for nine seasons. It's on the ninth season now. And it started with Ted telling his kids a story about how he met his mother. And then it, gradually over the six or seven years, I don't know how long it's been on, he's still telling the story. But it's coming. It's coming. And I really like the way it played out because Barney, like, the actual gay man in real life, played a guy who was like a womanizer and then he falls in love with a Canadian and then they get married. Nothing against Canadians, just she's Canadian and they like make that like an important part like Robin is the Canadian, you know that she's Canadian. And they have like whole episodes that revolve around her Canadianness. And I actually love Canada. I've been there a couple times when I lived in New York and their coins are really pretty. They have like a queen on the back of them. And then where I live, they actually took coins from Canada. But down here, I've actually had, like, accidentally got a mix of Canadian coins in my stuff. And then they're like, no, you can't pay me out here. And I'm like, WTF, get off my grill. Not really, but I just sort of switch it out. But, um, I bet there's more TV shows. Not really. Okay, so yeah, those were all my videos. Or all my TV shows, so it was The Office, New Girl, Pretty Little Liars, and How I Met Your Mother. I bet there's like a hundred more because I watch TV, I watch TV shows, I get caught up, but no. Right there, those four are my favorite. Hi viewers, um, it's Chelsea again, and last video... <coughs> Joke... <coughs> Spaghetti. Um, okay. It's... <coughs> I'm still joking on it. Spaghetti! <coughs> but yeah. Um, next show. That's about it. I'm sorry, I'm blowing up my nose. Allergies. I'll go crazy these days. Allergy, allergy, allergy!